okay dear students going to discuss human health the disease first and rapid revision what is the mean of health health is not only the absence of the disease but is also your totally well being in the aspects of it. that mean socially mentally and physically and you having high num high potential and productivity so you reach to the prosperity so that is the mean of health how you can maintain a good health and prevent the uh, infectious diseases and protect us from the infectious diseases so to maintaining good health having proper exercise balanced diet you have to take in and proper disposal of the waste vaccination immunization prevent the spreading of the spreading of the vectors and uh, that maintain the personal hygiene taking the fresh food and water so the, in that way you can maintain a good health disease condition when the one or more organ or system fail to function properly and having some appearance of some symptoms that condition is called disease so disease are classified into the infectious and non infectious one infectious mean that uh, transfer one person to the another person that is called infectious disease and non infection not communicable and not transfer from one to another so infectious disease mainly caused by the microorganism they are um, protist and uh, bacteria viral and fungal infectious diseases and they are parasite live inside the host and they are called pathogen so pathogen having the ability to survive inside the host and for and uh, that condition because they having got uh, in the host they have hcl hydrochloric acid so they have a, um, so pathogen having layer of the cuticle so protect from the hcl and uh, they having suckers and mouth for the attachment and uh, high reproductive system and less developed digestion digestive system because they ab directly absorb nutrient from the from the host so bacteria virus fungi and protist helminth they are uh, mostly cause the infectious disease so discuss one by one like first one that is typhoid typhoid fever caused by the bacteria salmonella typhi and that uh, cause the infection in the through the blood that reach to the small intestine and cause infection and uh, that uh, symptom of the typhoid fever that uh, headache constipation uh, sustain high fever 39 to 40 degree then how you diagnose the typhoid to vital test okay next one that is pneumonia pneumonia also that bacterial disease and caused by the streptococcus pneumoniae and haemophilus influenzae that is caused the pneumonia and that through the air that uh, contagious objects reach that uh, infection infection by sneezing and coughing uh, inhaled by the uh, person so that acquired the disease and pneumonia that in uh, that virus that bacteria infect the lungs alveoli lungs alveoli damage and that filled with the fluid so that uh, breathing problem in the person and the difficulty in the breathing in the case of pneumonia and in the severe case their nails and lips uh, turns uh, bluish in color okay so that is bacterial disease this also bacterial disease next one that is virus caused by the virus rhinovirus most contagious and most commonly occurring disease in the human beings that is common cold and this only infect the respiratory uh, system upper respiratory system not the lungs so like trachea nasal cavity nose that infection uh, common cold so like nasal congestion hoarseness um, cough head, and sneezing coughing and th that is a symptom of the common cold and uh, weakness loss of appetite uh, fever also so that is symptom of common cold next one malaria that is caused by the protist very important protist that is plasmodium okay very important that malaria is uh, that uh, vector that plasmodium which carry the plasmodium uh, parasite is female and a fleas and they complete their life cycle in the two host first one that is human host and second that, that, that is female and a fleas mosquito so there is some important point for the malaria malaria uh, i mean plasmodium species and many species are there like plasmodium vivax plasmodium oule plasmodium falciferum and plasmodium malariae so plasmodium falciferum most dangerous fatal and uh, that cause malignant malaria very important and uh, cards uh, death in the person okay so in the malaria that is sporozoite in infective stage for the human beings so sporozoite reached uh, reach uh, to the to, to the person by biting up the female and fleas and reach to the blood to the liver cells and infect the liver cells after the liver cells they infect the blood cells to the blood cells the busting of the blood cell and release the toxic called hemojoin so that hemojoin is a toxic substance that cause chilling and shivering for the person so that very important point and then this uh, gametocyte form in the blood cells of the human being and that uh, this gametocyte is taken by the female uh, anopheles mosquito you know to the blood meal 
and this fertilization take place in the gut okay so where the gametocyte is formed in the rbc cells of the human being and where the where the uh, fertilization is the gut of female and of his after the gut that uh, zygote is formed and is, they are escaped and is to the salivary gland of the female and of his where they get stored and mature very important so that is sporozoid in infective stage for the human being and gametocyte form in the blood cells okay quinine drug is uh, normally taken by the case of malaria which is obtained by the plant bark uh, that bark of cinchona tree and uh, that uh, gambusia the larvivora species is spreading in the ponds and their water containing medium so that gambusia eat in the that larvae amebiasis and escherichia and uh, amebiasis that is caused by the entamoeba histolytica that is a uh, protist and uh, entamoeba that amebiasis are transmitted through the house fly their mechanical carrier house fly and contaminated objects this house fly reach to the fecal matter and that taking the larvae of amebiasis and that uh, contaminate the food and water that infect the large intestine constipation pain excess of mucus blood clotting and uh, that uh, loss of appetite that is com common symptom escherichia that escherichia ground worms this is also contaminated food water uh, objects and uh, transmitted to the carrier house fly and that also called the blood clotting uh, ex, uh, bleeding in internal internal bleedings that uh, cause uh, symptom of scariasis and next one that is filaria filariasis that vitreria bancrofti uh, that also called elephantiasis this is also helminth and that cause infection in the limb, lower limbs and lymphatic fluid increase in the lower limbs okay so that is the diseases next one <coughs> immunity that a very important portion immunity immunity that providing with the protection against the disease and protect them in the antigens and it is that is resist the infection that require immunity immunity two type innate and acquired immunity so innate immunity having different barrier that is present by birth the after birth innate uh, we, that that point with having memory cells and uh, having antigen specific so the two point very important in the case of acquired immunity memory cells memory they have antigen specific they uh, recognize the previous antigen innate immunity after birth and uh, by birth and does not having memory and and their antigen specific so they are having some barriers uh, innate immunity like first one physiological barrier second physical barrier and third one cellular and fourth one that is uh, cytokine okay very important one by one physiological barrier that is skin first line of the defense and mucosal lining of the gut even genital tract respiratory tract that is comes under physical barrier physical physiological barrier saliva tears and hcl present in the stomach so that provide uh, physiological barrier iga antibody and lysozyme present in the tears and saliva cellular barrier there is a different cells comes under cellular barrier which having phagocytic in nature phagocytos the antigen like in natural killer cell leukocytes type of leukocyte monocyte macrophages they come as the cellular barrier and cytokine by the virus infected cell secrete some chemical that is called interferon very important next one that is acquired immunity acquired immunity further divided into two type active and passive very important point so active and passive what is the mean of active and passive because they current immunity based on the memory so in the active immunity when the uh, antibody is formed inside the host inside the person in the exposure of the antigen but in the passive immunity and antibody uh, artificially injected outside the uh, artificially and outside the antibodies are injected in the person in the uh, human so that is active immunity that uh, like uh, immunization and vaccination that is active immunity they slow response the long term because antibody is formed now later the exposure of the antigen and passive immunity having fast response because antibody directly injected right okay so that passive immunity like colostrum and that in the case of hepatitis uh, that is uh, in the case of tetanus deadliest microbes so in the case of we having quick response so they be giving tetanus injection containing antibody colostrum and that uh, anti venom this is also uh, passive immunity and active immunity immunization vaccination 
so that immunization and vaccination totally based on the memory property of the acquired immunity so when we injected the attenuated weakened our uh, antigens in the body that uh, our body recognizes the foreign particle and start making antibody when the natural exposure of the same disease is occur that give fast and rapid response that is called immunization and vaccination okay Next one that is uh, uh, that uh, acquired immunity having two arm that is B and T lymphocyte B and T arms so that is B uh, helping uh, that making antibodies and it helps the T helper cells help the B lymphocyte formation of the antibodies so that antibodies provide uh, that B lymphocyte provide the humoral immunity humoral means body fluid because antibodies form inside the blood in the blood and that uh, T lymphocyte cellular immunity. and also called cmi cell mediated immunity we got is play role in the graft rejection very important point these are b lymphocyte making antibody and play role in the humoral immunity humoral means the body fluid because antibody is from inside the blood in the blood and the t lymphocyte t helper cells that is cellular immunity because they play role in the graft rejection what is graft rejection the organ organ transplantation uh, or blood donation we having the power to going for the check or uh, matching of the blood and organs if there is a mismatching the there is some consequences but uh, during the organ transplantation our immune system recognize the foreign uh, antigen and they have in property to recognize self and non self cells and start making antibody against their self cells sometimes they graft are rejected so that t cells play important role in the graft rejection so that is called graft rejection so if the person look for the organ transplantation they uh, uh, definitely take the immunosuppressive agents to weaken their immune system Uh, to overcome such problems like cyclosporin very important point okay and that b lymphocyte humoral next one that is uh, st structure of the antibody that is uh, antibody is with the y shape structure that is antibody antibody formed uh, by the b lymphocytes and that uh, they are having h2l2 called heavy chain 2 or two light chains and that heavy light chain by disulfide bonds very important point and they are having variable region their antigen comes and bind so binding of the antigen antibody are specific very important point there is a different types of antibody according to their heavy chain iga ig m igg ige So IgA present in the colostrum, saliva, tears. IgM pentameric largest antibody. IgG that cross the placenta. IgA during the infection and inflammation. So that is a uh, very important IgE, IgA. Okay. And next point. Next we going to discuss marker not work properly. Allergy. allergy that is some sense, uh, body show sensitivity in response in that antigen present in the environment that is called allergy and that uh, uh, allergen that uh, particle which evoke the immune system that is called allergens allergen may be dust particles may be uh, that uh, smoke and any other particle which evoke their immune system they are called allergens so allergy the sensitivity in your body in response to antigens so that uh, during the time of allergy uh, there is a mast cell mast cell that secrete histamine and serotonin that is vasoconstrictor so they constrict their uh, arteries that increase the blood flow due to the increase in the blood flow histamine and serotonin present that uh, you can measure the allergy and the increase the number of microphages cells that uh, resist the infection so during the time of allergy mast cell secrete histamine and serotonin which is vasoconstrictor constrict the blood vessels and uh, that anti allergy drugs which is used anti histamine steroid and adrenaline that given by the patient to reduce their infection that is called anti allergic drugs very important and next point that is autoimmune disease autoimmunity that our immune system having ability to recognize self and non self cells when they fail their system and i start making antibody again the self cells that disease is called autoimmune disease right rheumatoid arthritis grave disease myasthenia gravis there are different types of autoimmune disease okay so you guys all the points